Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jen from the Clayton Candle Company. So if you saw my previous video, you saw that I actually added two new fragrances to my spring line. So today what I've been doing is making all of my spring candles, but now I need to take new photos for my website. And I thought <laughs> it's a great time to show you from start to finish how I do this. So I use a very simple setup that you can do at home. Um, I grab props from honestly like the dollar store. I like to use real fruit just because I think it adds more to the photo. And I, I mean, I try and use like real flowers. Of course, I could not find lavender, so I did have to buy um, fake flowers or fake lavender. <laughs> but I did get roses. I probably should have put them in water last night, but I think they're gonna be just fine for these photos. So I just kinda wanna show you um, how I set up everything. I liked, here, I'll show you, I'll grab you. Here we go. Okay, so this is the setup that I use. So these are saw horses from outside of the garage. Please do not mind, I know they are dirty. This is a piece of MDF that I'm just gonna use as the board on the bottom, and then I use a piece of poster board. Now, I am up against my windows because I like to use a lot of natural light. That is the look that I'm going for on my website. Uh, you can use studio lights, you could use a light box, but I personally, just personal preference, do not like that look. I like the natural uh, light from the window. So this is just a piece of poster board. And then I'll show you how I use another piece of poster board to make sure that you're not getting any reflection and it's not going onto the candles. And I also will show you how we do different angles using two pieces of poster board. But very simple setup and you can definitely do this at home. I realize not everyone wants the white like background, but I have found that, let me just put you down one second. I have found that this is what I want my brand to look like, right? So I love the top down with the white background, very airy, very bright and very inviting. That's just like my particular preference, but to each his own. So for today's photography, I'm going to be using an Canon EOS R with a 24 to 105 L series lens. Now, I realize that not everyone has access to camera equipment like this. So please do not think that you cannot get the same effect without just using your phone. Um, I've actually used my phone multiple times for photos for different social media posts. And I honestly, through editing, get the same pictures really. But what I like about the 24 to 105 is I like to do different angles of my candles, whether it be top down or a side view. And this gives me the opportunity to get different focal lengths. I also really like that bokeh effect, which means like your picture in the front is clearer than the background. So that's just a personal preference of mine and that's how I get my beautiful photos <laughs> up on my website. Okay, so the first candle that we're gonna start off with is citrus lavender. So I have my fake lavender that I just told you about and I have my citrus fruit over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cut a piece of each type of fruit and then I'm gonna bring it over to the poster board. And this will just add more to the photo. photos are bright so I want to bring as much color to the candle as possible just because my candles are white so I'm trying to make the picture stand out one of the number one things people shop with their eyes first so creating photos that are very eye-catching will bring more people to your products and make them want to buy more so I'm gonna try and figure out let me go grab the candles Okay, so here are my three candle sizes that are on my website. So let's see, how do I wanna set this up? So I like to use the tin lids on like one or two of them, but I also wanna be able to see the label as well. So I want one that's gonna be the top down, you're gonna be able to see the wicks, 
and the top of the candle, but then I also want a side view. You just kind of want to mix it up. So I'm going to put these off to the side for right now, and I'm going to try and set this up. I think I want the lavender to kind of be in the background, give it some texture. Spread these out a little bit. I hit the jackpot getting this lavender. I didn't think I was gonna find what I was looking for. I found it at Walmart, it's great. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna put the lid on this one for that. So I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna do this. So I also like to try and get them tight so that you know not everything's spread out and it doesn't look, doesn't fill the picture. Cause I don't like that. So I think I'm gonna lay these in here. I'm going to do a top down photo and kind of see what it looks like first and see if I need to adjust anything. Okay, so I took a couple practice photos and I was not a huge fan of it. So I decided to take it all apart, put it back together, um, and I'm kind of happy with this. We're going to see how it comes out. But once again, this is for a personal preference. So if you set yours up and you like it right away, then just keep it. Um, but I was not a fan of what I was doing, <laughs> what I had going on. Okay. So now I'm going to take the top down photo. So. And take a couple, like you don't, take as many as you'd like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up and get it to where we can take the photo from a different angle. I'll show you what I do with the poster boards. Okay, so I want the natural light from the window to be facing the camp, like the candles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the candles up facing this way. I will have the poster board here. The natural light will reflect off the poster board and be better for the camera person. And the camera person at this point will be my fiance. I'm going to hold the poster board. So I want to set it up to where he would be able to stand here. We can also move this a little bit, play around with it, and get this set up. So try and picture this. Now for these, once again, particular preference, I just like to have all three in the photo together to show the different sizes. Okay, so now my fiance is going to take the picture. I'm gonna hold the poster board like this so we get a nice white background. Also that the sunlight reflects nicely into the camera. Is that good? Oh, you know what? I, th I think I forgot to mention. So the top down, I used a 50 millimeter and for the side, I guess you could call them side view, um, we use anywhere from 70 to 105 millimeters. We're just, just trying to get different angles. Um, like I said before in the video, people buy with their eyes first. So just trying to get every single angle you can think of. I don't know if anyone, any of you have ever sold on Etsy. This is why they should tell you to add as many photos as you can of each side of different sizes, like hold things up so that people can have a reference on the size. This is why. So also you can use these for social media posts. Especially if you, you know, obviously if today it's raining and you can't get that best photo that you want, you could just pop one of these on there. Um, I do it all the time. I recycle my photos. <laughs> just adding something to your social media. Also, I don't know about you, but my Instagram is actually sitting at the bottom of my web webpage, so I would like to make sure that that looks, you know, bright, inviting. That there's plenty of photos on there. You can never go wrong with more photos. All 
Okay, so now we are going to take the memory card out of the camera and go down to the computer and I'm gonna show you how I edit. Okay, so now that we have finished taking the photos, it's time to edit our photos. So make sure you bring the memory card and put it into your computer. Now I am using Lightroom just because once again, I do have access to it because my fiance, it does do the photography business. Um, so I do have access to this. There are different programs that you can use and I apologize off the top of my head, I can't think of any right now, but I know that I believe Mac and Windows offers free programs that you can use. I mean, honestly, you could literally just put them into your Instagram or any of your social media or any kind of, even on your phone really, and edit the photos. Uh, Cause I'm basically gonna do the same thing. Now I use a preset, which I will link down in the description. So. We are going to, let me just, okay. So we are going to import our photos. So I like to import all of them just cause um, Lightroom is kind of difficult to see all of them close up, right? Like when you're first importing them. So I just like to import all of them and then I will show you. Were these the only photos on here? These might be the only photos on here. Ooh, that's a lot of photos. Yeah, they are, okay. So I'm just gonna actually import all of them. All right, and then we're gonna click import. These can't look like they came out great though, so I'm very excited. These are gonna look great on the website. We took a lot of photos. <laughs> Way more photos than I expected. <laughs> There's a hundred photos and it's just of um, citrus lavender. If there are other photo editing softwares that I miss, please comment down below. I am totally drawing a blank. Um, I used to have a Windows PC and now I have just Macs everywhere. So I, I don't even know what would work on a PC. <laughs> and then you guys will actually get to see some of the photos that I took of the rose water, um, which I didn't put in this video, but you'll be able to see them. Okay, so now that they're all updated, I am gonna go to develop. Okay, so over here are my presets. So there's this one called Light and Airy. Um, actually that's not the one I'm looking for I'm so sorry it's actually this one so it's actually gonna overexpose it so I'm gonna bring the exposure down a little bit and maybe bring the contrast up so a lot of times I just like to start with the whites and then just kind of see what this brings me. I really want to bring out the colors of the oranges. I'm also going to go down here to this. Let's see. Can I bring out the orange color? Oops. Yeah. Do that. Bring out the yellows. Purples and the greens. Yeah, I like that. Looks nice. And then I just like to play around with it. Um, what else? Blacks. No, I'm looking for that airy feeling because I don't want to go too. Let me bring that back down. So this is basically all that I do. I just go through each picture, decide exactly what I want it to look like. I normally it's the exposure just because my preset sometimes with the natural light overexposes it. So I mess with that, bring it up or down, and then I try and bring out the colors of the photo. And let me just show you what that side I'm just gonna go one. 
Okay, so if I was gonna do, or actually, no, let's do this one. Let's just do this one. And then I would hit my preset over here. Once again, it's overexposed. So then I'm going to bring this down a little bit. I'm gonna make sure that my remove. And then I am going to use this. So if you don't know what one of these do, one of the I would just mess to just go either go all the way to the left or all the way to the right and then you can see kind of what it does um that's what helped me in the beginning and trying to figure this out because i did not take any photography classes so i kind of had to learn on the fly so a lot of times i'll use this too if i'm not getting the look that i want no this is not what i want but just to give you an idea the oranges up and the greens and the yellows. A lot of time the clarity. Ooh, too much, too much. Yeah. Okay. You get the picture basically. So this is what I do and then I export them and then I upload them to my website. And like I said, I use all of these for my social media posts as well. So I hope that you found this video helpful. Um, I will link everything down in the description as to what I used and the equipment that I used. If you do have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. If you did like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you never miss the video, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks!